there, there's a sense where it's an acknowledgement of his position mm. as son of God and in his position as seated at the right hand of the Father from which he is there to, who, to disciple us. When we take his yoke on us, we learn from him because he's gentle and humble in heart. And it's, we, we're not make, coming under any sort of negative influence of slavery or anything. We're acknowledging his position and our position in relation to that. So it's, it can be religiously, obviously, have religious connotations, which could be negative if you have a wrong view of God and a wrong view of this relationship. Mm. But I agree with whatever, what all you're saying there. You know, this is about... Uh, obedience we do not have to be obedient for relationship or to earn something from god it's like obedience is an old covenant mindset to the law there is a law you must obey we're in relationship of cooperation co-heirship that's different god does not want me to be obedient to a, a law that he is prescribing he wants me to be in relationship with him so that, as you say, my desire is to cooperate together in this relationship to outwork something positive rather than a duty or obligation, which if I don't fulfill, there will be a negativity about how I feel about myself. Mm -hmm. um, trust and surrender are part of getting to know God better in that the more we know of him, the easier it is to trust in him. And most of us have trust issues or had trust issues and therefore we um, through fear don't like to surrender because what of might be the consequences of that but lordship um you know he is king of king and lord of lords mm -hmm. so if i acknowledge his lordship his kingship that enables me to be like him mm -hmm. functioning in lordship and kingship so it's a relational thing that enables me to outwork my sonship in relation to the father, like Jesus was in the relation to the father. He only did what he saw the father doing. Now that is not a set of instructions that for me is how you're describing. If I'm close to him, I know his heart and the desires of my heart align with his heart, which is like him writing his desires on my heart rather than, a law which i have to do or else mm -hmm. so do we have free will choice yes but we're influenced by something you know it, it's not neutral you know essentially there is an influence which comes through the world we live in mm -hmm. or it comes through our relationship with god and father therefore sonship so there's going to be an influence and you're right we do get to choose but i found that i don't really want to choose anything that doesn't align to my relationship with him anymore if i make a wrong choice out of lack of wisdom or lack, then i learn from it as you say um, but he's not punishing me if i get it wrong he wants to correct me and train me and disciple me to get it to be more like him in my decisions, my thinking, my actions and everything else. But very much keeping our identity as sons. He's made us unique. He hasn't made us to be clones. We're all uniquely, wonderfully made. And therefore, we have an individual personality and redemptive gift pattern and everything like that to help us just be. You know, so that that's important to know. It isn't, we, there isn't just one right way of doing things that we have to find or else. That will keep us under bondage. Mm. We have multiple ways of outworking his heart and we get to choose which we would yeah. like to do. And that's all good. <laughs>